so we've just laid the wire cuts and we're just waiting for the joints to go off you can see I don't know if you can see that but they are still wet obviously only just laid um, so while we're waiting for them to go off um, I'll just point out with wire cuts you have to be careful of which way around they go up they're kind of like um, weathered so that the water runs off if you land that way then obviously the water does stay in the brick um, generally speaking uh, when I've been uh, on jobs uh, with other bricklayers and I've had a little look around you often find these up the reveals where they've cut their halves and then they use both halves by that spot board to, to go on to that reveal so because they lay one and one's going to be right and then they'll lay the next one and it'll be upside down so um, again you can see uh, I mean when we were students we were told that obviously the water would get in freeze and then blow um, but I <laughs> shouldn't say this really, I uh, did a repair job for somebody, um, put a lintel in for them, and uh, they were a buff um, wire cut brick, um, obviously similar design to this, and I would say that 20% of the bricks were laid this way up, and uh, the houses were built in the early 70s, and there was no effects of anything, but that's not to say you can lay them that way up, because they just, they do look awful. And the reason they look awful is because when the sun shines down and gives you a, a nice sort of shadow on the face, the ones that are the wrong way up are just darker. They just look darker. And you can tell straight away that they um, are the wrong way up. So it just doesn't look good. So anyway, I'll get this one laid in. And uh, again, this is another thing. This isn't mortar on here. This is efflorescence. These bricks have been laying over the back there for some weeks, uh, waiting for me to do these videos and uh, obviously the water got into some of them and you can see efflorescence is like starting to show on a lot of them. So just quickly talk about efflorescence. Efflorescence is um, just the salts in the brick and uh, not all bricks have them. Uh, you find that a lot of engineering bricks um, are so dense that they, they don't have um, hardly anything uh, in them. But with the softer bricks, you'll find that they do have a lot more salts. So uh, when you get to like November time, November through to February really, where you get uh, cold, especially in England, that's what I'm saying, um, the moisture uh, bleeds out of the bricks and as it bleeds out, it brings the salts and then the air and the sun dry it and just leave the deposits of the salt on there. You can scrub them off with uh, detergents um, and what have you, but that's not gonna stop it. The only time it'll stop is when the brick has lost all the salts in it, um, which sometimes can take a few years. But generally in the springtime and summertime, um, you get the dry weather, all that um, would just wash and blow off, and then you, you've got like a, a, a good eight months with nothing on it um, until you get to winter time again. Anyway, we'll get this one in, and then we're gonna join up. And because we've got straight edges on these again, we can go back to uh, the joint line, um, or we could recess them. But if we were gonna recess these ones, because these are a more porous brick, um, you'd be in danger in a, um, a few years time, um, all these edges getting blown, where the moisture would get in and then freeze. So um, you, if you're doing internal work with this, you could like recess these ones out, which does look quite nice. But again, we're gonna go for the same style as down below. We're gonna uh, do a joint line. 